Finally finished it. It's an Oliver 36 inch bandsaw. It's a model number 2416. Newer than most. The saw was built in 1988. Um, I'm not a fan of these newer machines. The, one, the machines with the red tags on them that were built between, let's say, 1960 and 1980, I think are better machines. There's a lot of things that were wrong with this machine. And this machine only had 60 hours on it when I got it. This is another machine that I took down to bare metal. Uh, Karen's brother, Michael Shane, painted it. Uh, puttied up the castings and painted it. There was a lot of nickel work done on it. All the bare metal surfaces, with the exception of the table, are all nickel plated now. The machine has a lot of capacity. 24 inches under the saw guys there. Both wheels were out of balance. I built a balancing, uh, I don't know what you call it, a wheel balancer, I guess, to balance the wheels. They both of them were out about a quarter ounce. It doesn't sound like a lot, but this machine shook when I started it for the first time and ended up taking it back apart just to balance the wheels. I machined the tires. I did that by actually on the bridge port. I spun them like a, like a, like a bus driver turning a, a big wheel and uh, chucked up a, a, basically a grinding wheel in the chuck and was able to true up the rubber tires on this thing with the proper crown relief angles basically plus or minus three degrees uh, top and bottom and then a maybe a half inch flat in the middle of the, of the rubber tires. Um, changed it over from 440 to 220 which meant going through the motor starter in here. Um, got some parts for it on eBay for the power meter and transformer and, and things like that. This uh, this has got like a rack and pinion guide that lowers the guide. It's not a weightless one. It's like you see some of them have a cable with a weight hanging. This one you just crank it down and lock it in the position that you want it to be in. And they, they work like nothing, uh, nothing real fancy, but it's okay. Here you can see some of the detail. This side's a little more interesting, really. Uh, this is uh, the tilt mechanism, basically you can tilt and align the blade with, and then most bandsaws have that, I would say probably all of them. But it also has a servo switch on here that uh, basically, unless the blade is tight, this thing will not start. And the blade has got a spring-loaded mechanism in there, when you tighten the, when you tighten the blade, that pointer comes up and trips the servo switch and allows you to start the machine. So this machine won't start unless the, the blades have started to be redundant there. But this is the hour meter care block for me on, on eBay. It's got five tenths of an hour and it's, that's a, I think that's how they come when, uh, when they're new. They probably run them for a half hour just, just to test them. You can see the nice finish that Karen's brother put on these castings. These are all bare castings in there. Porcelain like an expensive sink. Nickel on the hand wheels, all the hand wheels, this is, all this is nickel plated. Some of the chrome plating on it, parts that are chrome plated, I did here. But uh, the nickel plating I have somebody do. Um, I'm back around this way and I'll start it for them. Uh, I did tighten it, didn't I? Yeah. Tension? Uh, huh? Tension up? See, no, I didn't. So, see, here's the start button. I'm pressing it. Nothing. Watch this. I put 
a mark on this wheel so I know where I'm at. Now this pointer on this side, you don't have to come over here, but the pointer lines up with the servo switch, which means it will start at this point. And it sounds a little bit like a jet taking off, so. 900 RPM motor. A little intimidating, I gotta say. So now it'll run for who knows how long, five minutes before it'll come to a stop. A nice, well balanced machine. It took maybe a, a month or six weeks to rebuild this one. So it came with this for resaw, this part here. It came with the miter fence. I just, dropped, I just knocked the nickel over. Son of a bitch. There's a nickel standing on edge. Everybody seems like they've got to have a nickel standing on edge when they start these machines. That's the wheel puller pulling the wheels. This, I think, is a resaw attachment that I, I think it's going to go over here at some point. But I got to drill and tap some holes in the table. And I don't want to do that until I'm sure where I want to put it. So. Nickel's still standing up. Guess that's a good sign. Got to well balanced. And before you shut that off, you got to see what I built to balance the wheel. Basically, this is a pedestal with a three millimeter carbide ball silver soldered on the end of it. And this is a matching taper to the ID of, of the taper that's in these wheels. So it could be put in a wheel, it's got a bubble balancer on the end of it, and then a hardened seat in the bottom of it. All of this was turned in one operation, so everything's dead concentric to each other. And basically it sits on that, on that carbide ball, you can see how, basically how it works. And you put the wheel over top of it, I lower it on with a little Joe, but it lowered over top of this. And then I can pick out even the most minute amount of out of balance using this balancing wheel balancer that I built. It's pretty good. You gotta take a picture of the tag. Bond Industries built me a tag. This one under, over here. Almost forgot to mention it. That'd be rude. <laughs> this tag was broke right there. Now we're not getting a very good yeah, picture of it. Yeah, yeah, there it goes. When I got the machine uh, in, somebody had put a strap across that and broke that tag. And uh, this company called Vaughn Industries made a new tag for that. I'll show you the old one. Where are we going? Oh, there it is. That's the old tag. Basically, I sent this tag to him, and he made that one out of brass and then powder coated it in black and filled in the, the white lettering and, and numbers with, uh, with a small syringe with paint in it. And we've got a perfect tag. Still slowing down. Yeah, it's still slowing down. It will be for some big, time yet. Big tag. Yeah, nice, nice uh, Oliver badge up there. I think it started using those in the mid '80s. But that's pretty much it. On to the next one. Might be a while. This one took a while. All set.